Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you um, how to use Pixlr to do some quick photo editing um, with any photo. Um, it's all on the web and it's on a website using Pixlr. That's P-I-X-L-R dot com. And there's uh, different apps that you can, you can download, the desktop app or uh, mobile app, but what we're going to use today is the web app. And that's uh, the great thing about it is you can use it right within a browser. Um, and if you want to use the app for your mobile device or if you want to download it, that's fine too. Um, this tutorial is just going to show you how to use what they call the web app. Um, so let's go ahead and launch it here. Um, again, I just went to Pixlr.com and you can see that it's just Pixlr.com slash express. And so then I'm going to go ahead and browse for a photo. So I've got some here. Um, let me go ahead and look in my um, folder for a trip that I took to Devil's River. I'm going to go to my pictures and my mobile device and um, I took this trip a couple weeks ago and so um, this story should be a photo story on an event or, or, uh, or some kind of storytelling um, slideshow. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a photo um, that I took and I'm going to go ahead and press open although you can't really see it it just says open down here and now it's letting me open up the Pixlr interface and let me go ahead and full screen it um, and it's pretty simple to use Pixlr from this point on um, the main things I want you to focus on um, when using Pixlr are to actually you can't really see those um, so let me get out a full screen here so you can make sure you can see them all um, is the adjustments okay so when I click on adjustments um, there's a whole lot of things I can do um, first thing you might want to do is rotate it um, and the chance that your picture needs to be landscape or portrait you can just kind of click around here and decide um, to rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise um, you could also resize it that's going to be pretty important when you're dealing with really large files so um, right now um, this is at 3200 by uh, 2400 which is pretty big um, especially for the slideshows we're using in this class so I'm gonna go ahead and downsize it to about 1200 by 900 and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and all that's gonna do is make sure that the file is nice and small enough uh, for the web but not but still good quality um, so all I did just there was I, I used the resize button and the rotate um, and another thing you might want to do is crop and so when you click the crop tool, um, you can use these crosshairs that they give you to decide where you want your focal point to be. Um, and so since this is kind of a nice landscape, I think what I have is just fine because um, it's pretty balanced and, and it looks fine to me. So um, you might want to also look at these ratios. Um, you got 4, 3, 3, 2, 16, 9. Um, just kind of see how you want it to look. If you want to go back to the original, that would be the X, Y. And then you can go ahead and crop anything um, however you want to. Um, now another thing you might want to do is color. Change um, not too much, but really what this is for is for color correction. You can see since I was in the daylight, um, it looks completely fine. So I don't want to do anything with um, the hue or saturation. Um, maybe a little bit with the lightness. I mean, that's going to be up to you. But especially if it was an outdoor shot, it's going to be fine. If it was an indoor shot, you might have to mess with the hue a little bit. Um, another option that you have is an auto fix and what that'll do is it'll just kind of do what it thinks it needs to do and sometimes that can be your best option if you're doing if you're not really too sure what you're doing with color um, or brightness and all that kind of stuff um, another one I like to use is contrast and so this gives you some brightness and contrast you can control um, how light it is and um, how much contrast and how they contrast with lighter and darker uh, levels within your uh, image. So let me go ahead and just apply some of those changes. Um, now, do whatever you want in terms of photo editing. Again, don't change the overall message um, of your photo, but do edit it a little bit. Um, and one thing I for sure want you guys to do is add uh, text. And what I want you to do with that is I'm just going to go ahead and choose. Don't I would recommend not choosing one of these kind of novelty or display fonts, but over here on the right you got sans serif and serif. Um, I'm going to go with the sans here. Um, now down here you're going to write um, just your name or uh, your initials, just so everyone knows that you 
are the one who took these photos. And I don't really like that font too much. Um, I'm going to go with Bayboss. And then once you choose the font that you want, you can use these little toggle buttons to make it larger or smaller. And what I want you to do is just basically take that hole, and you can rock, rock it back and forth if you want to as well. I don't really want to do that. But I do want to move it up here in the top right. And that's where I want your logo or your name um, in some way, some form or fashion up there. You can also choose a different color if you want to, um, just in case it's a dark background or a light background and it's white. You might want to change it to a darker color. And then go ahead and press Apply. Now at the very end, once you've done your um, adjustments and you know did some stuff with your type, don't please do not do any borders or stickers or anything. Um, that really can can mess with your message and can be more of a distraction than a help. Um, so anyway, when you're done doing all the changes that you wanted to make with it, um, just go ahead and press save. And the great thing about Pixlr is you can name it whatever you want. And I'm going to go ahead and name it Devil's River 1. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And that'll be the first photo in my photo slideshow. And then you would just do that for the rest of your photos. So that's pretty much how to use Pixlr. It's a pretty simple process, and, um, and it's a really, really great tool, especially for the price, because it's free.